Hey, welcome back to Snap Bowl Games. My name is Max, and this is Lewin, and we're back with another Popper League, and we got a good one for you today. We're going to be playing some Mardu Affinity. I'll get into this deck tech in just a moment. Real quick, and a shout out my channel, youtube.com slash snapbolt. Go to my channel and subscribe. It's really the best way to support me, so thanks so much for that. And on my channel, I've been playing a lot of Mardu Initiative. So, you know, I thought we should just switch it up, and we should play some more Mardu. Uh, jokes aside, this list is a fair amount different from Mardu Initiative. This is this list is basically a hybrid of Affinity and Grixis, or not Grixis, and Boros Synth. Um, we're kind of a Boros Synth deck, we're kind of an Affinity deck, we're kind of both mashed together. And the reason I wanted to play this is because I just keep wanting to play more and more Refurbished Familiar. I want to find more shells for it. This list looks fun. I don't know if it's better than Grixis. We miss out on Thoughtcast and some other good blue interaction. Um, but we're going to try it. So let's get into the deck tech here. And then we'll uh, put this guy down. And then we'll get into the league. Okay. So we're playing, um, what, 11 bridges. Or no, 10 bridges, excuse me. And 10 untapped lands. Uh, four Ancient Den, because we really want to play our Inspectors on one. We have the full eight Inspectors. Zero Core Skyfisher, just for Glinthawk, because it's the cheaper option. Um, and then the four Synth to go with the Glinthawk. And Synth is, like, the most questionable card, I think, in this deck. Our mana is kind of sketchy, because we're, like, a three-color deck. Um, so a lot of times you're going to Synth, and then if you don't hit, like, a card of a specific color, you won't be able to cast it, which I think is, like, the danger with this build. But in the mid to late game, Synth should still be a really strong card advantage engine, especially with Glinthawk. We have three, three Blood Fountains to recur, Enforcers or Familiars, and uh, our interaction, four Galvanic Blast. This guy's about done. Four Galvanic Blast, Card Advantage Engine of Deadly Dispute and Icar Wellspring. Now, the Card Advantage package there, I have another build where you just cut these eight cards, and then what was I? I was playing Frogmite and Core Skyfisher. So then you're even more of just like a Boros Synth deck, splashing Refurbished Familiar, maybe a couple Blood Fountains, and then you're just like Boros Synth Affinity at that point, which is kind of what we are anyway. But this does look cool to me because, yeah, you're Boros Synth with Mirror Enforcer. That's pretty strong. Um, moving on to the sideboard, we have three Dust to Dust, two Nihil Spellbomb, two Duress, two Accursed Marauder. This guy's getting frustrated. Two Gorilla Shaman, a Kark Clan Shaman, and two Pyroblasts. So just kind of threw a sideboard together. I think Shaman's really well positioned right now. And it's nice to be a, an Affinity deck with Dust to Dust in the sideboard. So I'm uh, going to try this deck out, see how it goes. Without further ado, uh, let's go right into round one and let's get this guy a treat. Come on, treat. Get him a treat and then we'll go round one. All right, welcome to round one. We're against FS, FFZ Lay-In. Probably not saying that right at all. Do you like to play first? Yes. And yeah, this hand looks good. Let's keep. Turn one inspector, turn two probably wellspring, turn three deadly dispute, maybe turn three play enforcer. Our opponent mulligans to six, and we jam Thraben, pass. Got a helicopter going. Circling around my house as usual, right when I start recording, so hopefully that's not too bad. Chromatic Star. Okay, so it's probably Gleezer combo here. Let's just stick to the plan. Wellspring attack for one. I was thinking about this matchup specifically. We don't have that much interaction for them, so it could be pretty tough for that reason, but we'll, we'll see. Okay, one, two, three, four, potentially five artifacts. I could take an interesting line and not deadly dispute my Icar Wellspring, because if I deadly dispute my Thraven Inspector... Oh, here, just give me a second. This helicopter is just too loud. Okay, I'm back. Took a minute or two. I felt like I couldn't even think, or like I had to yell at the talk over that. Okay, what I was saying was, I have an interesting line here, because I have four artifacts right now. I can Deadly Dispute, sack my Thraven Inspector, make a treasure, then I go up to five artifacts, then land up to six, and then I tap just my untapped land 
to play Mirror Enforcer, but then I have to sack my 1-2. Alternatively, if I Deadly Dispute my Acre Wellspring, I remain at 4 artifacts, I get a treasure, and then I can go untapped land, play Mirror Enforcer using my treasure. Kind of like the sack the Thraven Inspector line. It's kind of funky, but I'm going to do it. Because then if I draw another Mirror Enforcer, I can cast multiple Mirror Enforcers. And I lose a 1-2, but... I think it might be worth it. Oh, they're just going Deadly Dispute right now. Yeah, that's fine. Attack for one. Then Dispute my Raven. Make an artifact. Oh, there's a refurbished familiar. Doesn't necessarily do that much right now, but I guess I can cast it, save my treasure, and then also cast Mirror Enforcer. Sweet turn. We have six power. We don't have interaction yet, but we can draw some more cards. So we're looking fine. Looks like they're just going to continue to draw. Definitely just. Golgari Glazard combo here. Thought this matchup is potentially kind of tough. Let's just lead on Synth to start the turn. See what we hit. I wonder if they're confused why Synth is in our affinity deck, but maybe it'll be good here. Galvanic Blast that we can't cast. Nice. So my worries about Synth are already happening. Okay, well, I'm going to cast this Galvanic Blast. Well, let's just attack for six, then blast then. They're at eight. We have six power in play. Can't quite kill next turn. We could just get comboed here as well. They have a lot of cards. But a lot of times that, that deck, like, you need literally Glee and Brood Scale. So a lot of times I've drawn half my deck or, like, looked at half my deck and then I'm like, well, I haven't seen Glee, so I can't win. So we're putting a lot of pressure on here. That was our turn four. We have them at eight with a lot of power. So yeah, we're doing okay. Sideboard for this matchup. I think I bring in... Oh, there's the Brood Scale. Should turn off auto yields. The Shamans and maybe the Duress. I don't think I bring in the Marauders. Okay, there's an Inspector. I think I start by attacking with both. Maybe they're going to evolve and then block with their Sapperling. I don't know if there's that much I can do about that. Then I could crack Clue. Maybe I was supposed to sack this Icar Wellspring just to draw another card. They get to draw three. Might start my turn on Crack Clue. Might also want to Crack Synth. I can only draw one card here regardless. But if I Crack Synth, I can't draw a Galvanic Blast for the win. So I'll start on Crack Clue. And they're going to either go for the combo next turn or... We're going to find a way to win, so we'll see. Looks like we don't. I can't do anything except for play Inspector Pass. They also still need, most likely, we have an Inspector to chump block with, so they still most likely need 
Glee plus, you know, a win con, which they could have. They've drawn a lot of cards to rest us. Okay. We got nothing. Glee. I'm going to adapt first and then Glee. Nightblade. Into Sack a Token, into Adapt. They're at three. But maybe they just haven't found Glee yet. They're at three, but they have to. They're taking two, so they're going to one. They have two tokens for Nightblade. Enforcer's really not doing much. Okay, no Glee from them. Another land. Glinthawk. Okay, Glinthawk is great. Let's just lead on Glinthawk for the on the synth. Could also lead on Glinthawk on the Icker Wellspring, but I think that's worse. Let's just do it on the synth. See what we hit on top. Play like a Deadly Dispute or Galvanic Blast. So now if they find a Glee, they win. If we find a Gal Blast, we win. I was gone for a minute, but opponent is playing pretty slow here. Maybe they have some piece of interaction, maybe another Deadly Dispute. That's all I can think of, really. Yes, I want to use the ability. Synth, Synth Trigger, Blast, Raven Inspector. I'll go with Raven Inspector and Crack Clue right now. Tapping both vaults so I can play a tap land. Still want to just try to find the win right here. This pace of play is pretty painful, though. I mean, I know I'm behind on time, but... Again, I was gone for a while. And I've been... Discussing all my lines here. Magic Online is so much more fun for me, like... Just when both players are playing, like... Pretty rapidly. Blast. Clint Hawk. Okay, I can't really do too much. Suppose I just attack with both of these. And then I just guess I play a Rustvale Bridge. Could play a Glinthawk, but I don't think I need to. Is this going to be a Deadly Dispute on Star? No. Okay, so no Glee, please. Maybe I should just play Synth and then into Glinthawk. I don't know what that really does, though, because I don't have any more mana. Is there any reason I need to play Glinthawk right now? I don't think so. I'm feeling like pretty lucky that we're not dead right now. Rumble. No Glee. They found an Evolution Witness, which can get back Icker Wellspring, Implement. That's it. Okay. They chose Implement. They play Landscape, they play Implement. Okay. And then they can sack Implement, put a counter here, keep making Eldrazi spawn. 
In this way, maybe I was supposed to play Glinthawk to have six power because now they can already go up to five. We can look at a lot of cards though since I played this Rustville Bridge with Synth. Because I'm going to be able to go Synth, Glinthawk back Synth, replay Synth. So that's like three more cards I get, I get to look at. Another Rumble. Oh no. Oh my god, they're missing so hard. See, they've seen almost half their deck, no Glee. Maybe they forgot to put it in their deck. They chose Icker Wellspring. They could cast it. This deck is really good. I think this actually may be the best deck right now. They don't cast. They're going to have to sack spawns. The Raven. Let's go Synth. Then Glinthawk back Synth. There's Galvanic Blast. Okay, so... I can attack with my Flyers just to start, but... I think I can just Glinthawk back Synth right now. I can cast this the whole turn, so... Yes, I want to use the ability. Synth. Reveal another card. The Blood Fountain, sure. Then... I suppose I attack with everything. I guess they just get to eat these two things. That doesn't really do anything. Attacking with Mirror Enforcer doesn't really do anything either. But I think we should have them because we have four points of damage in the air. They can gain two life up to five. And then we have Galvanic Blast. And if they sack this spawn, I can just Gal Blast them in response, I guess. I guess they could Deadly Dispute and stay alive, but let's just do it now. They're crying. Yeah, they got really unlucky. They saw so many cards, but... I got really unlucky, but so goes it. Okay. I think we want to rest. Shaman. I don't think we want Gorilla Shaman or Dust to Dust. Maybe like a copy of Dust to Dust, but I don't think we want that. Nihil Spellbomb could also be reasonable. It's just like another piece of interaction. It, it, they showed Evolution Witness. I don't want to sideboard too much. I can just take out like some of the slower stuff. Maybe Blood Fountain is just not good. They're not really killing our stuff. Do I want Dust to Dust or Gorilla Shaman? Definitely not Gorilla Shaman. I don't think I want Dust to Dust either. I think Duress and Shaman are, is just where I want to be. Let's do it. We have like a relatively aggro hand too. We got two Gal Blasts. Yep. Let's uh, go game two. All right, game two against Golgari Gleezard. We are not going to keep this. This is just a Blood Fountain and nothing. This is slow with bad mana. But maybe we should keep on the draw. No early plays. I think I'm just going to keep... Munitions does seem good against them, but it's like the slowest thing I have. So we'll put that back. And again, I don't like this hand, but I also don't really want to go to five. And if I draw an untapped land, 
this hand becomes good. If I draw a tapped red source, this hand is also pretty decent, so I have a lot of good draws with this hand. I can also get to Enforcer relatively quickly. Okay, trying to play Bridge, just lagging. Lagging pretty hard here. I can't do anything. There we go. That's the danger of like clicking a card quickly then f6ing like make sure that it's in play first in magic online before you before you do that if you're trying to play fast see this is where dust dust could be reasonable is like when they have like an icker or chromatic star sitting in play and then i could like dust dust a land and like one of their artifacts that stays in play that's where it could be decent okay they took our deadly dispute We got nothing going on. They rumble, they hit Glee and Broodscale. They took Glee. We drew nothing. Next turn we can Deadly Dispute and nice. Hitting a land there is huge. Now we have to just not get comboed exactly right now. But it looks like we might. Okay, so they make an infinite brood skill right now. Okay, they don't. They didn't want to? Whoa. That's kind of crazy. They could have gone Glee, make infinite power. That's kind of hard for me to deal with, but now I have Galblast. I can just... I could just kill this right now. Then they don't even get to adapt. I can also just leave it up. I kind of want to lead on Deadly Dispute the Wellspring. See what I draw. Try to hit some lands. That was a weird play by them. One, two, three, four, five, and then potentially six. I have a treasure. Oh, and I can play Refurbish Familiar. So I can go Inspector, Familiar, play Enforcer for zero and then still have treasure up for Galblast. I'm so I'm surprised they didn't go for it. They go to one card, it's probably going to be they're going to probably keep glee in hand. If they discard glee, I'm going to assume they have double glee. Usurator's insight. Why didn't they make infinite mana? I don't get it. Their hand is just glee. They do have two cards on the table. Maybe they're like waiting for a better time to go for it, but I don't know when that is. Okay, black mana. Now are they just going Glee? So do they draw Duress? Another Rumble? Okay, they're adapting. Okay, just let that happen. They get another spawn, sure. They're just passing. Okay. Let's go Icker Wellspring. Nice. Great Furnace is actually pretty good. I still think I could just wait on these Galblasts. I could also just play one Synth right now. I think that's a little greedy though. I can just play Great Furnace, crack Clue, and be like totally safe. Just hearing a bunch of stuff going on outside. I gotta wait again. Sorry. All right, where I live now, there's always something going on. It's always like people like, you know, mowing the lawn across the street. There's always like people working. There's always a helicopter or somebody who's revving their engine, slamming their head. It's, it's always something. Um, okay, let's attack with both of these. I am going to be moving soon. So there might actually be a, a short break in content since I've been back during my move while I'm getting set up but when I before I get to the new place. Okay. 
Okay. Maybe they're just waiting on Glee till they have protection. I feel like that's what it is. They probably have protection now, but I have double Gal Blast, so they need double protection, which I doubt they have. I wanted to wait on this because I wanted them to use the Glee, because then it makes them harder. It makes it harder for them to combo again, um, which is why I was waiting on Glee and not or on um yeah I was waiting for them to cast Glee for me to cast Gal Blast. I knew they could draw protection, but by them. By waiting for it, I had double blast. Then I get to go um, deal with Glee and Brood Scale. Um, and then they have to draw both pieces again to combo, and I have a lot of pressure. They got super unlucky in game one, though. So let's go Let's go round two. One to know. Nice. Finally got, finally got a win. My last two popper leagues, excuse me, were, were rough. Uh, you can go watch those videos if you're... Uh, if you're interested there there were still some good games i made a i made a pretty bad mistake in one of them um but nice to get nice to start off a league with a win let's go round two right now okay sand looks fine no black mana three black cards but we can draw a card with inspector i think i am gonna lead on bridge just helps me develop more into the mid game I don't need to get Inspector down on one, but if I go Bridge, I can go turn two Inspector Bridge and then um, go from there. Then I have played my tap lands already. Then I get to play untap land and have more mana on later turns. Okay, it looks like it's Ponza. So leading um, Indestructible Lands in game one is also pretty good. They can't like Thermal Crisis on two. So that's nice. We have no interaction though right now. So I guess that's what's not nice. Nothing from them. Wow. Okay, I'm going to attack, play Ancient Den, play another Inspector. I'm assuming my Ancient Den's going to get killed, but. Think it's worth it. I don't really want to just glint hunt back my ancient den. I'm just gonna do this. Pass. Crack clue. We could have cracked clue to start the turn, and then if I didn't hit a tap, I could have drawn a bridge to play. Because I'm gonna get acid moss here for sure. Oh, I guess now they could play writhing chrysalis. Yeah, acid moss. Okay. They have two cards in hand. Draw another inspector. Not the best. I'm going to try to draw land. Not hitting. And this is how Ponza can get you when you just like, when you can't function. The, de the deck is pretty good. Avenging Hunter, okay. Galvanic Blast, please. And we can kill this, take the initiative, and we just absolutely wreck them if that's the case. Brutal. Brutal. I do get to play some Glint Ox here. I think I attack, make them trade their Arbor Elf. They get to eat one of my things. I think it's worth it. And then I go... Do I play both Glenhawks? I want to keep my lands in play. I think I just go Thraben and then Glenhawk on a bridge and then replay bridge. So I need them to not have Dino here. I assume they're going to forge and just try to start racing me. Yeah. Maybe their hand is just like land thermocarst or something. Another avenging hunter. 
Okay, they trap me down to eight, and they have a million trample in play. Feels pretty bad. I guess I can't even get a land because I don't have a basic. Maybe that's an error in deck building. Maybe I should have the one basic. I think we're just dead. That was rough. Got Ponzid pretty hard there. I think a couple Shaman is good against them. Maybe a Curse Marauder is good against them too. I'm not sure. I'm going to try it. Can just potentially deal with some big stuff. Can also just get like a Arbor Elf too. I don't think we care about valuing as much. Another Inspector out, or another Blood Fountain out, or a Synth or, an, or a Wellspring out. Wellspring's a little clunky, especially when we have we have Synth too to sack the Deadly Dispute. Okay, this looks good. Play the black source on one. So we can start playing refurbished on two if we want. That's the thing about like an affinity mana base with refurbished is you can play it on turn two a lot more consistently. Um, I think I do want to just play refurbished. I didn't want to just Shaman their Arbor Elf quite yet. See if we get Thermokarst or Deglamored here. They go red. Four mana on turn two. Deglamor. Okay. Another Deglamor? Another Arbor Elf. Okay. Now I'm going to Shaman these. I just have to. No question about it. They have two cards in hand. So I think I want to not sacrifice any lands. So I think I go Vault, play Refurbished, Shaman, and then Shaman sack the Refurbished with Summoning Sickness, kill the ground creatures. Really nice turn after getting Deglamored. They discard another Arbor Elf. Wow. Okay, now we have to hope their last card that they kept was like Dino or something that they can't cast. Rumble. Rumble should definitely be in that deck. It is really good. Okay, they only hit Forest and they play Forest. They didn't take Dino because they're pretty far from casting it. They have Gorilla Shaman, we get wrecked, but it seems like they likely don't have that. They have five, six mana now. Chrysalis. It's pretty good. They have zero cards, though. Synth is nice. It's a big Chrysalis. Refurbished. Start with Synth, because I do want to play it this turn. Hit a bridge. Okay, so let's go refurbish draw. Since they don't have any cards in hand. Mirror Enforcer, nice. Okay, let's play my stuff. Next turn we can crack synth. We're pretty far ahead at this point. We have two more lands in hand. Sure, they could just draw a dino off the top, dino into boarding party, but they can also just draw lands, like a Thermokarst. Yeah, stuff that's not very good. They have a lot of bad top decks, too. And we can... I think our top decks are a lot better overall. So they can make a 5-6. There's Deadly Dispute. Nice, that is great. Um, What do I want a Deadly Dispute? A land or, like, a Novice Inspector?
probably an inspector. Then we're a gal blast away just from being able to attack with everything. Can't quite do it though. Their chrysalis is holding back our entire team. Let's see, four, five, six. So if I attack with Enforcer, they get to eat it, but they have to sack two spawns. I could attack with everything. And then they either they get to eat one of my things. They take six. Pretty close to wanting to do that. I think next turn I start attacking with everything. Potentially. I get to keep drawing cards here. So now even if they like Dino, I can potentially beat that. Okay. Well, I'm going to get to take the initiative. They get Mountain, play it. Raven. Okay. Don't think I need double red. I also have treasure. Let's go Wellspring. Draw. Attack with just my flyers. They eat one of them. I take the initiative. And then I try and hold on to the initiative. Have zero basics in my deck. Perhaps a deck building error. Maybe it's fine. Then I go the Raven. This allows me to go chump, double block. So they need to draw like a boarding party right here. Another Chrysalis would be good, but maybe not even good enough at this point. Um, and I'll go Rustvale Bridge, half the turn. I can also crack Clue, try to hit Galvlast. I probably should should have just cracked Clue on my turn. Another Chrysalis? Or is this a Munvoli Acid Moss? Acid Moss I don't care about. Cast into Fire would be kind of brutal, because then I... Yeah, okay, that I don't care about. Okay. Oh yeah, I go Samurai and Mirror Enforcer here, Chump Chrysalis, but they can't attack. I get to draw. I can forge onto Enforcer. Munitions, nice. I can just start pinging down the spawns. Or I can just start going face, which I think I do. Hmm. It's close. I think I do start going face. Zach Wellspring draw. Another Wellspring, nice. Let's play untap land. Wellspring. Probably play Inspector too. Probably just play Double Inspector here. Yeah, I mean, I'm pretty close to killing them. Because I get to trap them. And then I have... How much mana? Seven? And they're going to be at eight. So maybe I can kill. Okay, they took Dino. Because I can't quite kill yet, but I'm still in a good position. They go Dino. And do Avenging Hunter. Okay. They get to forge onto their hunter without summoning sickness. It's like the best they could have hoped for, and it's pretty dang good. They have a lot of trample power now. 
it's looking sketchy. Because I don't have the initiative now to trap them for five, also. No attacks from them, though. Glint Hawk. Do I want to start by Glint Hawking back an Icker Wellspring? And then replaying it? It's my best thing to Glint Hawk back. Alternatively, I can just like have a bunch of munitions triggers. And I can like munitions down this big hunter or this dino. They have two reach creatures. They're at 13. They have a million blockers. I kind of want to just pass the turn. I think I can survive without dying. And then if that's the case, I could probably just munitions them out. Maybe I just don't even need to play Glenhawk at all. If I go Glenhawk replay Icker, I only have four mana left. I could potentially kill this, but... I think I'm actually just going to play Bridge past the turn, do nothing here. I get trapped down to 15. And I try to just not die, kill them with munitions over two turns. Because they have a lot of power in Trample, but I also have a lot of creatures to block with. I have some extra artifacts I can sack to munitions as well. Another Chrysalis. I don't think that really does anything. Doesn't change anything, because I can ch chump this. They're going to attack with these for no attacks. Okay, well now they're just dead. Let's yield to these. Uh, that was a reason to uh, do it on my last turn, but this is fine. How many artifacts do I have? Four, five, six, seven, if I sack these clues. Yeah, so they're dead. I can just sack all my non-land stuff this turn, and then untap and sack my lands. They're going to 11, then 1, 2, 10, 9, 8, and then I kill them with my lands. And I have a Mirror Enforcer to play too. Maybe they're just realizing they should have attacked. I thought about including two munitions uh, for this reason, basically. Okay. And then I can just sack a bunch more stuff. Remember when uh, a tog was legal? Yeah. This kind of stuff was happening a lot more. Combo them out with munitions. I don't think I'm supposed to have duress. They have like sprawls, rumbles, 
land destruction spells and de-glamors that I can potentially hit. I think I just run it back. We got this. Look good. They mulligan to six. Ponza mulligans a lot, but it mulligans relatively well because they have these hands where even when they're on five cards, they can lock you out of the game. God blessed. No. So I can try to somewhat protect my white source by not playing it into D Glamour first and play this bridge first, but I think that's a little bit greedy. Probably going bridge into Novice Inspector. Turn two. Man, they've had turn two four mana twice now. Man. I have two cards in hand. I think I need to try to kill this Chrysalis with Galblast. I think I need to play Great Furnace. I can also just kill the Arbor Elf. That puts them on two, three, four, five mana. <sighs> so my choice, my lines are Inspector, Galblast, Arbor Elf right now. Or play Great Furnace. And then Inspector, leave up Galblast, try to hit Chrysalis when they sack a spawn to like cast the Dino or something. My other line is play Inspector, play Tap Land, which I think I cannot do. I think I need to hope I don't get Dinoed, or if I do, it's not too bad of a Dino and try to kill Chrysalis. Give them mana here. I'm just so far behind on the draw. To four mana on turn two. Another chrysalis, that's what I was afraid of. Okay. And Gorilla Shaman. I guess the only way I can win now is like a clan shaman and just try to buy time until then. They played all their cards on turn three. They even get to kill my clue. Yeah, it's brutal. My Ponza opponents do always seem to have these insane chrysalis draws. Just not gonna block right now. Maybe they want to keep their spawns around. They should probably just go in with all of them. Yep. So I'm taking six going to 14. They're keeping one around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Makes sense, I suppose. I think I should synth here. Pass. Can chump this turn. Then I can Glint Hawk back my synth. It's going to be tough. I'm at 10. I have to play a creature to block with. Okay, staying alive. We're close to enough artifacts for a Karak Clan Shaman. Okay, now we're not. Jeez. Pretty good in multiples, huh? Now I think we have zero outs. This card's really, really good, especially in multiples. I was pretty close to playing Ponza tonight myself. 
just because it's the best Chrysalis deck for sure. We got a one. It's gonna be it's gonna be uh impossible here. Multiple enforcers does not do it. Maybe another oh no, another enforcer doesn't even do it here. Okay, GG's. That was a good match. We got wrecked in game one. We didn't really function. And then one and one in the other two games. Maybe I should have mulliganed that hand because it was pretty slow with tap lands. So that match loss could have been on me. See you in round three. Let's try to bounce back. All right, welcome to round three. I'm going to keep this hand. We have bridge into untap land, wellspring. And then we can play another wellspring bridge. And then we have these enforcers. So... Some card draw, five artifacts, not counting these enforcers, and we're against walls, so this hand might be too slow here, but let's play it, see what happens. Our list is maybe just like a little too like value-based for this meta. Also on the draw here, probably just too slow. Maybe our Walls opponent doesn't have much going on. Lead the Stampede. Hit four creatures. They hit a lot. <laughs> Aquarian Ranger use it another Lead the Stampede. And they hit a lot more creatures, one of them being an Axe Bane Guardian. Can, they could have played another Just Bear Sentinel, they just didn't want to. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. Can't quite do everything yet. I can only just go... And I think we're just going to get comboed next turn. Maybe we have two more turns. I think I can't do everything. This goes four artifacts, I can go up to five artifacts, and then I can just cast one enforcer for two mana. That doesn't seem very good. And if I have Wellspring, then I'm one artifact short of playing both of the enforcers. Next turn I can just go like... I could even... I guess I can't... I could start on Deadly Dispute even. Try to draw something to break up their combo, but they have Leaf Caller to filter any mana. They have so much mana from this Quarian Ranger. I think they should have this. They should be able to win right now. Thought they could. Because I thought what they could do is go play Leaf Caller, play this Battlement, and then they have. Each of these produce four plus Quarian Ranger, that's 12 mana of any color. And then they can drift for three from the real. Oh, I guess they can do it right now, too. Yeah, so now they drift for free from the real. And then they make infinite mana of any color. And then they can... Just keep drifting. They can then they can go like drift, drift, get back drifts. Cause the last one they can just well they can also just now make infinite mana drift for um the thing that drains us and kill us. I'm just gonna concede. Okay. This is where we wish we had another shaman. I think a curse marauder make them sack their worst creature is not good enough. Spellbomb can break up some loops. I think we also want Pyroblast. Maybe Duress too. Take Lead the Stampede, take Breed. Can miss, but taking Lead the Stampede is just so massive. Because we just want to interact and like play our stuff and then keep attacking and then keep them from doing anything. 
Maybe Spellbomb is good against them, I'm not sure. Alright, let's try this. Let's go game two. Alright, game two on the play. I think we're supposed to keep this hand pretty sketchy, but we have Goldmire Bridge to rest. We have a Galv Blast for something. We have Synth plus Fox. Could try to Synth on turn three. They kept seven. That's bad. I think Mulligan's a lot too. They play a very low land count. All right, I could just kill that potentially. Let's see what we duress. Winding way. Overgrown, overgrown, Axe Bane. Caretaker. No extra lands. So they're going to play Caretaker, and then I could just Galvanic Blast in response. Hopefully they don't draw land off the top. And then I could play Synth on my turn three like I planned. So they're going to play Caretaker. Hopefully they didn't draw land to play Battlement. And then we hope they just miss another time or two on lands while we develop. I think I'm fine to synth here. Could also get less greedy and go like Wellspring, Glint Hawk back Wellspring, but maybe that is the line. Slower, but I can synth next turn. So we would have hit a Glint Hawk, but how are we to know that? We could have easily hit a card that we can't cast off Synth. Yeah, maybe this many Synths is too many. Could draw another Galblast that I want to cast, but yeah, okay, it's just fine. I think I'm fine to Glinthawk back Synth and just like keep the value rolling. Even if I miss a card, I think it's fine. Mirror Enforcer. So that's definitely a miss. I guess I just go Rustfell Bridge, play another Glint Hawk for no value. Back for two. This is the problem with Synth. Okay, Overgrown. You know, three out of their five cards. They're close to like really developing here. Synth for Inspector. Play it. I'm going to play Icker Wellspring here as well. They can play out like pretty much all their stuff next turn. Weren't able to find another removal spell. I'm not sure just playing out all their stuff is going to be enough though. So now we just need to find another piece of interaction and we can draw some more cards next turn. They may have stumbled for too long, maybe not. And they go three mana, Axe Bane. And then they could play Savant if they want. We have them on a two turn clock, our Clint Hawks. Another Synth. Bridge doesn't really do anything. Crack Clue, Deadly Dispute. Deadly Dispute does do stuff. I'm just going to ignore this land that's exiled and Deadly Dispute away the, the Wellspring right now. Try to draw Galvanic Blast. Yeah, 
who are not able to. So if they combo, they combo. Not going to play Inspector, not going to F6. They have four defenders. They have 12, 13, potentially 14, I guess 16 mana right now. Okay. Now each of them produces five. So they have five. They have 16 mana. They don't have a way to filter blue, though. And one of their cards in hand is Savant. Winding way, no. They hit basically nothing. That was a big miss. All, I guess they hit a drift. Oh no, that's infinite mana and then kill us. Oh, never mind. That's game. Yeah. Okay. Basically nothing was, was good enough. They could just get a win con here. They also had third path. All right. Duress into Galblast wasn't enough interaction. Maybe that's kind of like a problem with this deck is like valuing with the Raven Inspectors and since Icker Wellspring right now, it's just not really what the format's about because of Gleaser. Because like Gleaser forces the combo, forces you to like react to the combo pretty quickly. So if you if you don't have a deck that can deal with that, like we did beat them earlier, but if you don't have like something that can interact with the combo really quick, you have to kill them before they kill you. So you have to be really streamlined. So it's forcing like decks like walls and things like that that are better. Um, also, like I, I was thinking like, oh, maybe I should play a blue deck right now that has counter spell because I want to be able to counter uh like against Gleezerd and then I want a bunch of other interaction too so maybe I can play some of like a blue controlling affinity deck with counterspell but um playing this instead and didn't quite get there so far one and two rough start so far synth has been really bad too let's keep opponents on six is it Ponza yeah Okay, Enforcer was a great draw. For what it's worth, I think this hand was definitely a keep. Turn to repurposer, sure. It's just Blood Fountain, play another indestructible land. It's a pretty easy turn. Next turn I can probably play Synth. Another repurposer. It's fine. It's not that scary. They are ramping up to dinos and stuff, which that is scary, but the actual 3-3, I don't think is that good. I think you want four Rumble, four Chrysalis now that I've played with the cards more. Ooh, I can make them discard one of their cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, let's go. I guess do I lead on Synth? Four, five, six, seven. Yeah, I guess I lead on synth. See what I hit. Tap land. Now I go refurbished. Then I can play my tap land, play double enforcer. I mean, this was a good turn three. They have cat. I was thinking like some decks play cats into the fire main. So for them to discard Cast into the Fire, their last card must be Boarding Party or Dino. Guaranteed. And then they drew Forest. Dino. Yep. Makes sense. This isn't that scary, though. Now they have zero cards, and our boards are like somewhat equal. And I can start valuing now. Go ahead and lock back the Synth. 
And I have a Blood Fountain too, which is nice in this game specifically. Another Glint Hawk. I guess I can Glint Hawk back my Refurbished and replay it. I think that's better than Glint Hawking back this Synth. Because I get to guarantee draw a card. Okay. And then I could sack my blood, discard this Great Furnace if I want to, but I don't think I really need to yet. I just keep valuing for now. Okay, they draw nothing. So once we draw Galvanic Blast, we can start attacking with our Flyers. Let's play Enforcer, lead on Synth. Raven. Why is it making me pay the mana every time? What's going on? Is it because I can respond to it? It's kind of weird. I'll just play land. I want to just keep playing lands for cards like Munitions. I'll just start cracking clues. Ooh, Avenging Hunter. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to take the initiative. Lose a Glint Hawk for it. They go Mountain, play it. And they just concede. I mean, they were in trouble because not only was I just going to like attack with these things, they eat a Glint Hawk, I take the initiative. I can Blood Fountain my stuff back eventually. Like, I have a lot of Mirror Enforcers to eat, to trade with their stuff and then get them back, play them for zero, draw a bunch of cards. So we did have them there. Shamans. I'll try the Marauders again. Uh, if they have Displacer, it's not as good. So Displacer is doing some work there. Let's just only bring in those. And just like sideboard minimally. Alright, let's go game two. Alright, game two. No turn two chrysalis into multiple chrysali, please. <laughs> we'll keep this. We can start playing a lot of putting a lot of artifacts into play as long as we don't get uh deglamored. I keep getting deglamored, so I'm Remembering the name of that card more. <laughs> Ooh, Gorilla coming. Into the Eagle Hammer. Okay. Back it up. Run it back. Fighting game two there. We had an untapped land that dies to Gorilla Shaman. We could have played Vault into Blood and got into Blood Fountain, got our blood and land blown up. Alright, I'll keep. Opponents on the multi six. I'm gonna lead on bridge. Probably play Wellspring on two. Try to go Wellspring into dispute. They kept six though. Let's see what they have. Wild growth. I could weave up Deadly Dispute right now too. But I think I want to just play Wellspring. No do glamour, please. Brutal. I mean, this is what Ponza does, but it feels like I just keep, like, okay, I have a two-land hand that draws a couple cards, and then I can't find lands against Ponza when it counts. It's brutal. Just getting absolutely destroyed here.
Okay. GG's. Let's go to the fifth and final round. All right, down in the slums in the 1 3 black bracket. Let's uh, try to see if we can at least salvage 50 play points here, shall we? I think this deck just isn't good, actually. I think Synth is not good in this deck. I think I've learned that before. And then I just keep thinking, like, oh, it's got to be decent, right? And it's just not. I think it's just too inconsistent. It's just not a, as good of a draw engine as Thoughtcast. It's just, uh, the inspectors aren't that good specifically right now, too. So, I think this deck is just not that good right now, too. So that's part of it. But, I mean, we just got crushed by Ponza twice there. Okay, just got that reckless, wacky answer, though. Um... can't get any value out of this glint hawk yet but i kind of want to just play it i could bounce my own blood fountain i think i'm supposed to do that and get a blood when i replay it i'm just not going to attack either obviously okay we're against mono red here which i thought would actually be kind of a tough matchup because we don't have reckoner's bargain as well to gain seven with Mirror Enforcer. They're just going to play a Bushwalker? No. Okay, I'm fine to trade here. I mean, I have a, a Blood Fountain. Okay, Spectre, Blood Fountain, Top Land. And eventually I'll find my third color, or I can discard red cards to Blood. Probably going to be cracking clues first, though. So they just, I think if I was on my, I probably would have just played Bushwhacker as a 1-1 one -one for future Bushwhackers. Maybe that's not worth it, but it's probably what I would have done. Okay, that's pretty scary. I'm going to crack Clue. Okay, Wallspring isn't bad. Just try to trade these off and then slowly blood pounding them back, I guess. We need red mana at this point, pretty badly. Synth into Tomb Raider. Okay, well these Blast Burners are not turned on. If they attack with everything, I'll still double block a, a Blast Burner, I think. No attacks at all. There's Deadly Dispute, okay. Now we should be fine. Still no red source other than the treasure though, wow. Okay. Still making it tough on me, huh? Inspector, untapped land, pass the turn. We're not black white affinity, but we are playing the game as such right now. I'll crack clue, chain lightning, my inspector, sure. Okay, interesting. I think I want to just deal with these Blast Runners. How can they sack a permanent right now at instant speed? I don't know if they can. I'm gonna... They're just... Oh, they're just lightning bolting one. Okay. I think I'm gonna Gal Blast the other Blast Runner, actually. Crack clue first. I don't know if it matters what order I do stuff in. Maybe it does. These blast runners are, I think, more of a threat since they have menace when they are turned on. Pulling down to one card in hand. Another inspector, really? Okay. Now I think it's inspector. Bridge, pass the turn and plan on using this blood fountain now. 
Go, go, Inspector, go, 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 gadget, go, huh? Hold on the rebirth, but they need another land. They have it. Okay, we're in trouble. Oh, their Tomb Raider's turned off. It's kind of funny. No attacks. Let's get back Glintnock and Inspector. One card in hand, I'm still at 17, so I'm still feeling okay. Their board is massive, though. Wellspring. There's Deadly Dispute. Nice. There's a Gal Blast. That's also nice. Can't even really Glint Hawk that well right now. I mean, I could play it just to have another blocker since I have so much value. I think I'm supposed to. Guess I can bounce Vault. Play a red source. Pass the turn. So now Goblin Bushwhacker is scary, but still beatable. Okay, crack wacky right now. That's fine. Another blast runner. It's also fine. They have one card. What is it? Chain lightning? Yeah. Okay. Can't redirect because I only have one red, one hard red source and one untapped. Alright, so I double block this, gal blast this. I could have chumped the Tomb Raider as well, but I actually don't think I'm supposed to. We can just keep slowly drawing cards here. There's another red source, not bad. Okay, that's enough. We, we valued for once. We valued. Okay, Shaman's coming in. Duress is like, okay, just if, if I can take a bolt, then it's like gain three life. So there's that. And I think we're going to heavily rely on finding Shaman. Take out some of the slow stuff. Fine with this. I think Refurbished is still pretty good. Again, if I can make them discard a spell, then it's like essentially like gaining life. So that's the plan. Let's go game two. All right, game two against Mono Red. Small. This one we can keep. We have a Shaman, which is really good. And finally, Glenhawk are refurbished. Maybe I've done it like once this league so far. I think I'm actually putting back Inspector here. Pony cap seven. Blast runner, sure. Put back Inspector, draw Inspector anyway. We do have a lot of them. Next turn could blast something and play Inspector, but They only have one land right now. Wow. Could just play Refurbished Familiar, trade, or play Refurbished Familiar, no trade, and then they, they'll probably play another creature, and then I can go Inspector, Shaman, Wrath the Ground Creatures. It's not even that good. Still think I want to just go refurbish because if I draw a land, then next turn I can Glint Hawk back the refurbish, replay it. I 
Discarded Galvlas, nice. I'm just gonna like chain lightning this. Yeah, another Galvlas, that makes sense. Okay, another land is great. I'm just going Inspector, pass the turn. I don't think I need to Shaman yet. At 14, so somewhat precarious, and they drew a land. That's scary. Cast into the fire here. I could just draw a card, take two down to 12. I think I like that. Be nice. Another Glintock, huh? I can kind of feign some weakness. Go Glinthawk. Should I play another Glinthawk? I think I should. Pass. Don't even really want to trade a Clinton Hawk for a Tomb Raider, but I guess I will. I only have three cards left. Gorilla Shaman. That walks me out of playing red spells, so I have to just blast that. Ended up being kind of good that I bounce my lands. Bad that I can't Karak Clan Shaman. Kark, Clan Shaman. Okay, let's just pass. Okay. Really getting Affinity hated out of this league, huh? They've cast with the Fire and Gorilla Shaman. Wow. We get hit down to five. Guess I'm not dead yet, but I mean I am. I guess I got greedy just never going for the shaman. I was supposed to just put it into play at some point. Alright, I'm just dead. I don't think I want Marauder. Let's just run it back. I was just hoping they would just like commit a little harder to ground guys and then I would be able to shaman them away, but the opportunity just never really came up and then my red source got killed. Both my red sources got killed. So that was kind of rough. Let's go game three. Fighting for 50 play points here. All right, final game of the league. Would you like to play first? Yes. I mean, this is a keep for sure. No black source for duress yet, but double indestructible land, so shaman doesn't wreck us. We have synth plus shaman here. This could even be a hand where we just turn to synth, hope to hit a land. I think it is. Gets another artifact into play. If we hit a land, we like go crazy. Not quite, but oh. I was so wrong. I just didn't see this like Inspector in my hand. I think I was just going a little bit too fast. Definitely should have played Inspector Tap Land since the next turn. So that could cost us. It's pretty bad. Okay. Go Inspector into Shaman. Do I want him to Shaman right now? I mean, I'm gonna have to anyway, and if I sack Synth now, I could hit him. So let's go. Nice. Not a black source, but 
At least we get to Wrath. Keep all our lands. Cash in the fire. Yep. Play Inspector. They go Synth. They have five cards in hand still somehow. Guess they're a little choked on mana as well. I mm, think I'm supposed to crack. Play two more inspectors next turn. Get up to four artifacts. Close to being able to play these inspect these uh, enforcers. We're actually doing okay here. Especially if we draw land. No. Okay, we'll draw land next turn. I'll probably draw Gorilla Chomp in this turn though. Okay, sent into Blast Runner. That's fine. Four artifacts, five. Nice. Go ahead. Now we're in a decent spot. I mean, we still have to dodge Gorilla Shaman for a few turns. They've, they've been stuck on two lands as well. Ooh, munitions, wow. I think I want to just draw cards, though. Galblast. Galblast is nice. I think I can actually attack with my Enforcers. I don't want to just let this game go on forever. Okay, I mean, we're pretty close to killing them. We have some blockers and a Gal Blast to, like, try to survive. They Lightning Bolt us. Going aggro, sure. They're just going to sack Synth here. Could also sack Lackey. Yeah, they just sack Synth, make a 2-2. Cast into the fire. Okay, they can't cast that. No attacks. I think I am not supposed to use Galvanic Blast. Another Enforcer. Just play it. Attack. Nice. Okay, okay. <laughs> we won a couple matches, so there's that. Yeah, I think... Just this deck is just not what you want right now because people are prepared for affinity as we saw. We got wrecked by hate a couple times. This grindy package of Glenhawk, Inspectors, Experimental Synthesizer is just not that good into the meta right now. And again, I think like the root of that reason is Glazered Combo, but there's other reasons too, like Mono Red is just really fast too. Um, but an, on top of that, Synth is not that good in this deck specifically. So I think this is somewhat of a flawed deck. And I, I think I've tried these strategies before. They look so good on paper to me. Like I'm like, oh, these all make artifacts. These like bounce your synths and replay. They can like, you can hit lands off synth and, re and play those lands. And then like your enforcers are so easy to play. And then it just doesn't really work out like that. Like you're always just like, I just want to wait on Synth, I want to wait on Synth, and then it's still hard to utilize this card in this deck specifically. Um, I mentioned it before, I have this list as well. This is like the same deck, but this is even more of a Boral Synth deck, just, you know, playing all artifact lands, um, not as much card advantage, and uh, we're cutting Icar Wellspring and Deadly Dispute for Core Skyfisher and Frogmite. This actually might be better because Frogmite helps build bridge towards Enforcer as well. I have 28 creatures in this deck, but even so, I think this deck just has some innate problems, same as the other one of Synth being kind of loose. This Blood Fountain should probably not be in here too, but I think just playing Boros Synth, if you went four Galblast, four Bolt, and just playing Boros Synth would be better than playing an all artifact mana base to play these affinity cards. It is an interesting uh, 
strategy, but I'm basically off the deck. I'm going to put it down for now. It was a fun experiment. Um, I wanted to do something a little bit different today, but uh, I did not like did not like the list um, for a variety of reasons. That being said, like if you played this deck, um, you know at F and M, it would be totally fine. You could also do decent with it in leagues. Like we two threed, but we easily could have three twoed. I could see you know doing better in leagues depending on what your matchups are. Um, but I think it would need to be built slightly differently too. With only like Galvblast as interaction in the main deck, like grinding with everything else. It's just a little bit too slow, especially because these inspectors grind really, really slow. It's not like we're black, white blade, um, where we are fine going even slower. So, yeah, swing and a miss on this on this brew, but it was a fun one. I want to keep playing more familiar, um, and that's what I'm probably gonna do. I, I have a couple other brews that I'm thinking about. So, see you in the next one. Thanks so much for watching. YouTube.com/slash Peace.